Hey everybody, it's Mitchell here, coming to you through my channel, The Added Voice. As you see on the screen, got big old Tyson Fury smiling, looking happy and as confident as ever. Y'all ready to go? Two more days, actually two days in a wake up. November, or February 22nd, the big fight's gonna happen. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. I think Tyson Fury's gonna win. But not only do I think Tyson Fury's gonna win, Tyson Fury's been talking about how he's gonna knock him out by the second round. I don't know if he'll knock him out by the second round, but I believe when he when he says he's gonna knock him out, I believe him. I, I truly do. I, I don't doubt this man. He's a He's a man of truth. He's a man of honor. He's a man of honesty. There's a lot of predictions going on. And believe it or not, while taking in consideration Deontay Wilder's right hand and the power that it has, most, most everybody that's been questioned, most of the boxers, most of the people that are affiliated with boxing and so on and so forth, celebrities and such, are picking Fury to win. They're... They're saying Fury's gonna win. We got Triple H with WWE. We got Eddie Hearn, Dillian White, Anthony Joshua, Conor McGregor, a list of people. We got Frank Warren. And not only does Frank Warren think he's gonna win, of course he would, he's the one promoting Fury. But Frank Warren is like me and says, he don't say he thinks, he says he Tyson Fury will not Deontay Wilder out. It's, it's fantastic. Got Bob Arum saying it. It's Kellerman. Speaking of which, I got a, or I got a clip. I want you to watch Max Kellerman saying that Tyson Fury won the first fight. And not only was he the lineal champion because he beat Vladimir Klitschko, in Max Kellerman's eyes, he's the WBC and the lineal champion because he beat Deontay Wilder in the first fight. That's and he would know, you know, He's been in boxing for 20, 30 years. I remember watching him when I was a child. I'm gonna switch over to the big camera. I just... Hey, I just wanted to get a little bit more in depth. Um, I have a couple clips I wanted to show you of Max Kellerman talking about how impressed he was of Tyson Fury. And um, I got another clip of Tyson Fury's coach talking about how they're ready and I have one more clip of Tommy Fury Tyson Fury's brother talking about uh, how people don't need to underestimate Tyson like they're doing and think that he can't knock Deontay Wilder out because as his brother Tommy Fury says and as I think and as plenty other people have said they're heavyweights one punch is all it takes and I, I believe, I believe um, Tyson Fury is going to knock Deontay Wilder out. I, I'm not going to doubt him. He's a, he's a heck of a boxer. He's the best heavyweight boxer in the world right now. He's the lineal heavyweight champion. Even though Deontay Wilder negates that, says he don't believe in a lineal heavyweight champion. And says he's never heard of it before. Well, he must not study boxing at all. He must be a closed book, except for when he fights. Because there's been a lineal heavyweight champion since forever. Since at least the 50s, 40s and 50s at least. Beyond that, we got this big fight coming up February 22nd, Saturday. And I think at 9, 10 p.m. it's um, pay-per-view. I think Tyson Fury is going to dominate. He's going to come out toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I think that's a ploy, a mind game, a manipulation to trick him. I don't think he's going to come out straight toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but I do think he's going to bang with Deontay Wilder more because I think uh, Tyson Fury's going to want to make a statement. He's going to show the world that he should have never been doubted. And he's also going to show the world that he shouldn't have been screwed over in the first fight. He won the first fight, but they called it a draw. This one clip, I'm going to show you this one clip of Max Kellerman talking about the first fight and how impressed he is of Tyson Fury and that Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight champion or the heavyweight boxer right now in this era. So here that is. 
Because we remember Deontay was fighting tomato cans, as they used to say. Wait, champ, I think he's the heavyweight champ. You consider him heavyweight champ? Yeah, he's the lineal champ. He, 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 yes, he was away from the ring for a while. I'm not saying he's the undisputed champ, because a consensus formed around Anthony Joshua. And then maybe one has now started to form around Deontay. But I'm old school, and let me see you beat the guy who beat the guy. And until you do that, and especially since I thought Tyson Fury beat him the first time, the only significant fight Tyson Fury's had since he beat Klitschko, I thought I saw him beat Wilder. So yes, in my opinion, opinion he's the champ it's the truth max kellerman has been in the boxing game commentating um talking studying for 30 years maybe more if if he says something you take it you take it as truth plain and simple and here's another clip of sugar hill tyson fury's trainer so here that is Tyson's come out and said that he's going to stop Deontay Wilder within three rounds. I mean, two rounds. Two rounds. Is that your prediction? Why not? If he said it, yeah. I can't disagree with him. Um, why not? Yeah, I don't disagree with him bringing me as a trainer, so I'm not going to disagree with him looking for a set, you know, saying that he's going to knock Deontay Wilder out in the second round. I'm happy he's saying that. Um, I'm a big fan of knockouts. I love knockouts. Knockouts are exciting. Um, we all do. The, the people, uh, you know, that's what the fan, when I watch boxing, I want to see a knockout. I don't want to see go to the decision. I want to see a knockout. So I, I saw a recent interview with yourself. Uh, you said that, like, Tyson Fury is an orthodox heavyweight. I mean, he moves differently. He switches. He, he's not your typical heavyweight. He's quite structured and throws big bombs and whatnot. You said that Tyson moves like a middleweight. Uh, has that surprised you with something his size, 6'9 and 260 odd pounds? Uh, Tyson Fury's movement surprised me. The first day I met him in Kronk in Detroit, uh, back in 2010, he moved the same way. I just wasn't sure if he would move that same way while he's boxing somebody live in front of him. And to my surprise, he was able to do that because I've seen a lot of people move great outside the ring, hit the bag, fantastic, uh, working the pads like a machine. And when they get in there and box, it's not the same thing. But with Tyson Fury, it was the same thing. All the trash he talks, he backs it up. It's the same thing. It's not a big uh, joke or a gimmick or anything like that. Um, you know, he he, he he can he can talk his way into it because that, he believes in himself that much. And uh, I'm very happy to be uh, uh, a part of it, being able to help him to uh, become WBC uh, heavyweight champion of the world. Everybody keeps on asking Sugar Hill and Tyson Fury and everybody that's affiliated with Tyson Fury and everybody that's not affiliated with Tyson Fury and everybody that's affiliated with Deontay Wilder. If they're really serious about him going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Deontay Wilder and going to try to knock him out. And uh, Sugar Hill, Tyson Fury, everybody, Stitch Duran, everybody is like, yes, he's not joking. I mean, has Tyson Fury ever lied to you? No. That's why he's liked so much is because he's a straightforward guy. He's not a douchebag. He's not a, anything like that. He's straightforward, but he's humble, and he's modest, and he's down to earth. But he's great. He's fantastic. He's, he's a big, tall guy, heavy, no model at all. I mean, he couldn't be a model, you know, not, not even close to the best physique. But he fights as if... He was a god, per, per se. Not saying he's a god or anything like that. I'm just saying, you if you didn't know anything about boxing, you would not look at this man, not knowing him at all, and be like, oh man, he's the best heavyweight boxer in the world. You wouldn't. But when you see him fight, it brings back memories of Muhammad Ali dancing around the ring, floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. I want to show you this last video of Tommy Fury and I'll do that on the outro. What are your predictions? I think Tom, I think Tyson Fury's going to win. I, I honestly do. I think he's going to knock him out. I don't think it's going to be the second round. Uh, I don't think he's going to come out firing like that and if he does it's dangerous. But I do think he'll knock him out at least by the ninth. Before I play that clip for you like, share, comment, subscribe. As always, I love you. Peace. He's, he's, he's going to walk all over him this time, Tyson. He's been active. You know, he's in unbelievable shape. He fights, and he's, not, and he's had 20 knockouts. 21 knockouts. So, if you can't punch you, you don't have that many knockouts. And believe me, if someone 19 stone hits you on the chin, you're going over. So, this time, after fights he's had, 
he's, he's fit, he's in shape, he's been active. I just honestly, I just see, I just see an unbelievable form that's happening, and him just whitewashing Wilder. Honestly, I can see that happening. Tyson's not scared of his punch power, so he's going to go too wild in them later rounds, I believe, and he's going to put it on him. I believe he's going to get a late stoppage.